can you say? Worst case scenario. What do I do to sum up the entirety of this fucking season? What do I do to sum up the entirety of this fucking bullshit, abysmal, unbearably, horrendously, god fucking awful season? First, he does good. The first two stages are at the very least first few laps. Bullshit strikes at him. Stays consistently in the top 10 and top 5 all race along. Bullshit strikes him again. Penalties that didn't even fucking exist in the rule book. A top 5 car going all day or all night long. But no. No. He, for the first time in his entire career, he's been deteriorating since 20, even after his win at Dover. He's been rapidly deteriorating and decaying ever since his crash at Pocono of last year. But no. He was going good all race long. And Indianapolis. Even leading a few laps, might I add. Even more laps than the amount of laps he led last year. And the amount of laps he even led at Daytona. If I'm not mistaken, at least. But then, when he's on stage three, he was fucking dumped! For however many fucking times! God Fucking damn it! I was hoping that at least, uh, he at the very least, uh, hopefully won't run out of fuel or get slapped in the dick by a bullshit penalty, but he even didn't get a goddamn fucking chance! He didn't even get a chance for that bullshit to happen to him! No! Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god, he could have made yet another comeback that he could have also made at 2012 Homestead Miami. Oh, but wow! Wow! Another avoidable fuck-up just had to ram him in the fucking ass! This is a fucking travesty! Why? Goddamn why? For years, NASCAR has made my passion for said sport miserable! Ever since 2014, the most bullshit chase format has been implemented into this fucking sport that has been the beating heart of my fucking life. Why? Are you kidding? It's over. You know we're nearing the end times when a seven-time champion for the first time in his career has missed the fucking playoffs undeservingly. Oh... Oh my gosh! Oh! Every time he does well, some talentless fucking hack just has to have a mishap and collect him in his, in the mess that he had no fucking business of being in in the fucking first place! Why?! And NASCAR, outside of all my trouble, the troubles with Jimmy Johnson, has still haven't, has not done shit to make the cars better! They've been falling apart for years! And they still didn't do shit to even get Indianapolis. To be fair, Indianapolis is was never stock car friendly. But it was <clears throat> fun racing to watch at least from 2017 and 2018. It was at least racing a work in progress ball. But no, we're right back. We've sucking down a new low. Every time we make two steps forward, we make several steps backwards. Every time we go forward, we, <clears throat> we go right back to where we were, if not more so. NASCAR still has not done shit to save these cars from sucking ass all to goddamn fucking hell. These This season, <clears throat> even when if you take Jimmy Johnson out of the picture, well, these car coming <laughs> even if you take Jimmy Johnson out of the picture it's been the worst most abysmal most abhorrent most deplorable most 
absolutely subpar season of all time. God, 2009, 2008, 2015, and 2018 seems so far away now. It feels so fucking far away. Ah, Jimmy Johnson might as well just fucking retire. It doesn't make a difference if he even stays or not. He's still my favorite driver to the moon. Not even into the moon, but to the whole, to another universe and back. I will forever be a Jimmy Johnson fan. I will never switch my allegiance to anyone else. Ever, ever, ever. For as long as this universe exists, I will be a Jimmy Johnson fan. But <clears throat> thanks for, I, we're near the end times, people. I can't, I can't wait until, I can't wait till the Gen 7 car comes out. You think based off the horrendous reviews and reception the Gen 6 has gotten, they may even decide to implement the Gen 7 as an early start in 2020, much like they did with 2007 when they ran it part-time. Because I think they would. I certainly would. Why does Jimmy Johnson have to even endure this shit? He's done nothing to deserve this. And don't say, No, this is just cheated. Many drivers have been caught cheating even far worse than him. <clears throat> Kevin Harvick alone last year got busted cheating two out of eight of his wins. So how come no one's putting, throwing their tomatoes at Har Harvick? By that logic, everyone deserves to suffer <clears throat> based on them cheating. Jimmy literally causes no problems at all. Well, even though you could argue that he did cause a huge wreck at the uh, Bud Shootout. Well, not Bud Shootout. Um, clash. Daytona Clash earlier this year. But that wasn't even a points race, so it doesn't even matter at all. <clears throat> so, he has done nothing morally wrong at all to deserve any of this whatsoever. What has he done to earn this slump? He has done nothing to deteriorate even worse than Jeff Gordon's decaying years. Where he didn't win a ra single race. <clears throat> the only reason I even stayed for this long for this ever so decaying, deteriorating sport is to see if Jimmy Johnson could earn the entire history book. But that's being rendered completely worthless and useless. 2025 can't come fast enough of a year that they supposedly fold. Gen 7 can't come fast enough either. <clears throat> but I should have fucking known that the moment Austin Dillon did the most dick move in NASCAR history, bullshit, stupid fucking horseshit would literally cause the literal... <coughs> <laughs> and the literal fucking doomsday scenario of this channel. And that is Jimmy Johnson missing the goddamn fucking playoffs. I'm tired of every time. <clears throat> every time things look optimistic or hopeful or promising. Just the most rarest form of fucking bullshit just has to strike him out of a potential top five or even fucking win for that matter. I'm tired of dealing with this shit and it's become a tedious process. And it's become every single song since 2018 in terms of racing and Jimmy Johnson's performing. <clears throat> Every single song since said nouns and events sounds the same. Even even Dragon Force has more color and layer to their content than NASCAR has over the last several races of this year and last year. Actually, comparing this year to last year is too insulting for last year. At least 2018 had some worthy to it and some races that you could sell. This is just borderline pathetic. And I can't endure it anymore. Thanks for watching, everybody, but I'm done for the season. I'm done!
I'm done. Just give Kyle Bush the trophy so we can get it over with. Bye. See you not next week or any of the other nine weeks, because I've had it with the abysmal agony of this year. I'm done. I'm done. No more. No more for me. No more. I'm gone. I'm already exiting the door. I'm already finding every single lock, you, every source of lock you could find on this planet. I am, I am gonna fucking seal frame the opening cracks on my door so there will be no way to re-enter how abysmal this season has been. It's only bound to get more cancerous and more unbearably god fucking awful as soon as the playoffs start. It's just gonna be 2015 on steroids. I've soldiered through, at least soldiered through 2015 and plenty of races in 2018, despite work getting in the way. But what's there to say? I didn't check in on the racing on my phone when I was working, at least, <clears throat> of 2018. But this is, I've had enough. I've had enough. This is where I reach my limit. As the storm gets silent, so does Jimmy Johnson's prime time and charm. And NASCAR's charm as well, which has died out a long time ago, only for it to be another free fall. Bye.